Well, hi everyone, I'm Andy Asher, editor at Bloomer Boomer. Now at age 72, today's guest on the Bloomer TV show personifies every lesson that we've ever been taught about what it takes to achieve happiness and fulfillment at any age in life. Now, after watching our show with uh, her, you decide for yourself. And hopefully our chat with Dr. Tae Yun Kim will leave a lasting impression about how she achieved fulfillment from a devastating life as a child, her backstory is long, intriguing, and emotional, events that have broken many men and women before and after her. We'll learn about that, but most importantly, I hope you discover from her what it takes for us to clear hurdles, overcome barriers, to reach a level of self-fulfillment we all hope for. In a moment, we will talk to Dr. Tae Young Kim, the martial arts grandmaster, full-time entrepreneur, and author. Despite her chronological age, she declares, I don't let my age or other people's concept of age determine what I do or how I feel. And her new book is The Seven Steps to Inner Power. Now first, I'd love to get in a plug-in for bloomerboomer.com. The theme is Embrace Age, Empower Dreams, Embrace Life. It is packed full of awesome, engaging content for people over 50 everywhere. And we would love to have you join our amazing community. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel and our lively Facebook page, live events around the country, and other cool things. You can also get our newsletter. So uh, check us out. We'll be right back with Dr. Tae Young Kim. Well, our guest is uh, Dr. Tae Young Kim, the martial arts grandmaster, full-time entrepreneur, and author. Her new book is The Seven Steps to Inner Power. Tay, thank you so much for joining us. Wow, I am so delighted to be here, Andy. I'll tell you, Tay, you have such a remarkable story and uh, adversity and struggle, overcoming so much and reaching achievements in business and philanthropy. It's really an honor. Now, you're 72. How does that feel? Do you feel old? Oh my God, Andy, I feel like a teenager. Really? Oh, who's, who's saying that 72 has to be stopped? I feel like I'm just starting my life. Well, Tay, I'm, uh, I'm 70 and uh, I feel pretty much as you say, I, no kidding. It's hard for people to imagine, isn't it? Yes, you know, Andy, when we you were young, you know, you got a very busy, many things when you were 20. You know, I'm just saying, like, when you're in a high school, you, you want to see the, how you can get a most the date. And when you go to college, you really think about, well, what kind of career am I going to have? Then after that, you were really asking about, well, what kind of partner, you know, I'm going to marry to whom? Then when you, you know, you're turning about 35, then... You got that you're married, you have a home, and you're just staring at the ceiling. Then everybody say, is that it? Is the life, is that it? You know, people think there is kind of like almost a sunsetting. What in the end, like you and I, we all know, real life is started around the 50. You know that, right? Well, you certainly are living proof of someone who is living a full life uh, at 72, and uh, was there any uh, ever a downtime, or you've been at this pace for, since then? I know. You know what? <clears throat> I feel like uh, all my experience of my life that is like a rejoice in the lesson of the pain and hurt. It gives you strength. It gives you freedom. What I mean, you know, we're going through the lot of curve. We're going through the like a river rapping. You know, <clears throat> good and bad and the suffering and the joy, but this really making us stronger. It's become a, my own teacher. It become a, my own students in the life itself. Well, you know, it, now Tay, you you've got to admit to the fact that you're something uh, somewhat exceptional, correct? Yes. Okay. So, is, would someone? How would someone who isn't at your energy level and everything, how might they say, I could never be like her? You know what, Andy? 
I don't want anybody be like me because I want everybody find that their own individuality. So another one, eagle should not try to become a dolphin and dolphin should not try to become a tiger. You know, the rose should know that, that you are the rose, not the daisies. I guess what I'm trying to say, that's what makes us so special. We are so unique individually. You know what I say? Look right here, thumb. That thumb print, no one have this whole wide world, just only you the one have. So I really want to tell everyone, find that really who you are. When you fly the plane, when they ask emergency, put the mask on yourself first, then help the, your children and others. It's, I feel same way. That's a, you that's cannot, good advice. You don't, in other words, they don't have to be they don't have to show all of the energy they can be whoever they are that is what i think you're saying yeah i guess what i'm trying to say the also uniqueness make us so special about who we are and i say life is start i feel like now i'm 20 because i started when i was 50 that's what i say you know uh stop saying it i'm all saying that I have a power in me. Whatever I did is my choice. Now you don't have to worry about the children. Now you don't have to worry about it to the others. You know, when you're dedicated when you are young, about 30 years old, raising your kids, you devoted. But now it's a whole yours. It is all yours. Who's stopping you? Make it happen. Become a driver in your life. Yeah. It is your life. So yes. Right. You so right you know and earlier you mentioned you you suffered through so much and uh, if I can touch upon some of these including actually being abandoned by your family uh, during the Korean War I guess that must have been in the 50s and now we often look at, at troubles yes. in uh, sort of among family members that suffered abandonment by their their mother and father I mean how did that uh, affect you because you know from an outsider it's so devastating yeah you know what Andy you know, most of people, they let other people, for example, like author family or school run teacher, rob their life. You know, when me, I've been told, you are a girl. You're supposed to learn how to cook and sew, work on your husband, produce 12 sons. You are the curse. You are the shame to our family. You know, when every time they say that, when I looked at my mom and I looked at my grandmother, I said, I don't want to be like them. I'm not saying it's wrong what are they doing it, but I find that I want to have my own life because when I was five years old and I went through the Korean War, I see that my friends is blown up and dying and right in front of a five years old have experience. I know how precious a life that can be. And I know that no one can go wee wee for me no one can go eat for me or sleep for me. No one can sick for me, no matter what. So I know that it's my life. I'm the one who has to become ownership in my life. I will not let my father beat me. He's an alcoholic. He blaming me for your girl. I didn't get my inheritance from the, my mom and dad. You know, my mother beat me. She used to cut my hair off because I'm training in a martial art. You know what, Andy, no matter what they did, I was so determined. I'm not going to let a raft of my life. I'm not going to let anyone clip on my wing. That's right where I am. I really want to tell the people, it's your choice, especially when it's 70. Come on. How do we have a guarantee how long we have? And I'm saying every day, Andy, I'm saying maybe today is my last day. So I will not let the stress, anxiety, all those things that come and get to me. I will say, I'm going to drive. I will push my own GPS. I'm going to go to my direction. I really want to tell Andy, to your audience, everyone, it is your choice. He can do, she can do, why not me? You know, my book. Seven step the inner power, the how to break to the awesome. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Yes. Well, you know, you embody a message that we we have all uh, heard about uh, in, in our lives. You know, do not give up. You say you never gave up. 
you don't think there are many other people out there who never gave up, but you know, they never reached their dreams like you did. I, they worked hard, they just never reached those dreams. Yes, I know, and the, you know what? That's what I wanna say, don't give up. Your life is starting right now. Move, move to your body, work, get up, stretch. You know, you don't have to do it like an expert. Take your time, get to know your body, get to know the really, who you are, how beautiful that can be. And I have a date in your life. You know, like a, in a clockwise, we are in a destiny clockwise, we are in a sunset. How beautiful, glorious that it is and sunsetting. So now it's your time. Move. Don't try to think that, oh my God, I cannot do this. It's so far distance. Well, start the everyday small uh, dreams you have, small achievement. You know, start, the, okay, I'm going to walk. That's our achievement. You know, go ahead and meditate it. And you say, I'm going to move. You know, it is you the one have to command for your life. So they don't you, have to be you overnight. Take little baby steps. <laughs> you know, Bloomer yes. Boomer is about embracing age and is about empowering dreams, embracing life. You know, it's very fitting in, the, in a sense that uh, you are on Boomer TV today because I see you who really embody those words and, and that message, embrace. Yes, yes, you know what? Don't compare, I wanna say to yourself, to others because they are others or others. It's you, get to know you. Go walking in a, in a seven step, the inner power, how to break the ass of my book talking about, it's 21st century, everything we are so busy. Go and go to chair meditation. If you have the difficult, don't try the sitting down in a traditional meditating. It, it is very actually hurt on a, your back. Is uh, to your hip and the joint. It's so um, I will recommend it to you to have a shower meditation. And you open up to my book, you will see it in shower meditation, how to do it. And I will really want to say, your thoughts create your reality. That means everything's ended. Look at it. You know, the people saying it, Thomas Edison, it is an invented in the light bulb. Well, he's just sending just like us. People are saying it, Columbus discovered art is wrong. You know what, Andy? I say different than that. What did I say? Columbus did not discover art is wrong because he uncovered art is wrong. Why is that? Because art was always wrong. What I'm trying to say it to all those the listener, they have their dreams and they never really gone anywhere. They're still inside the flames. They're waiting for you. You to be open that door. You to be really energizing and work that together. Yeah, that's sort of what a, I mean. An expedition like Columbus. Uh, you know, that, that's, a, that's a good analogy. You know, and about the time uh, many of us reach age 50, we have a, a history, you know, for better or worse. Now, in certain ways, it really works to our advantage. In other ways, maybe not so much. Uh, so, be, because we uh, we begin to see the you know the end of the tunnel in our life, maybe it's a little harder to overcome all the odds uh, like we did as a little little person, you know, as you did as a yes. little girl. Now, what do you say to people who don't feel as optimistic as you and, and have uh, have trouble? Uh, they just want to give up, maybe. You know what, Andy? I really want to tell them, see, you know, we are fooling ourselves in our life. So like when you're born one to seven years old, and we are being cared by and people around us, then to seven to and another 14 years old, and you go to school and you're busy. But once when you turn to the after the 14 years, so with a 21 time, you know, you get a, your own license and you get a, you, nobody want to really pay attention. They having their life. As parents, as we are, with the children and without the children, we are busy that way. I believe through the life, 
through the meaningful, delightful, delicious life uh, truly is starting in a, in around an age of 50. So this is uh, your time. So you have the thoughts create your reality. I call future memory. Change your thinking. Move the, your thinking. Don't go. Don't let the other people telling you. Listen to the, your heart. Listen to what is you can. You can. You know that. So now have a courage. This is your time. Then never, never come back this life again. Never. If you come back again, if you believe it, there will be the different life. This life, this is only one life yours. So make it happen. Right Please. on, Tay. Right on. I think that is the most inspirational speech I've ever heard. <laughs> yes, but, you know, let is. me ask you this finally. Other than getting your book and, and following you, can you share some examples of what really helped you during, uh, during times of difficulty? You know, uh, you can go to my books and online and then Amazon.com and a bunch of novels, and you can go to the P-A-E-Y-U-N.com and that is a tayyoungkim.com. You can get that in my book, Seven Steps in Inner Power, How to Break the Awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, you're so perfect for a Boomer Boomer. I mean, we're in a sense, we haven't quite said it this way, but life begins at 50 and uh, you have a perfect message. Uh, uh, Dr. Tay Young Kim, uh, Tay, thanks so much for your time. You know what, Andy? Any times I'm really looking for the sharing. I really want to say, okay, my sister, brother out there, um, you know, my family, friends, stand up now. Stand up, move. Don't sit in the couches all the time. And I know your body, you're not a condition. You're holding it as something. That's okay. That's okay. I am here with you. God is blessing you. How does God is loving us so much? This is our life. Let's make it happen together. How to break through the awesome. I love it. I love it. Okay, thank you so much. This is thank great. you, Andy. Our guest uh, is Dr. Tae Young Kim, a martial arts a grandmaster, a full time entrepreneur, and author. Her new book is The Seven Steps to Inner Power. I want to thank How to again. break the awesome, yes. Absolutely, absolutely. We'll be right back. I hope you liked the show. I hope you learned a thing or two. Now, the full show is going to be available on YouTube and over at Bloomer Boomer. We have other shows coming up with some amazing guests just like Tay. So please like us on Facebook and visit us over at BloomerBoomer.com. Until next time, so long.